Adventure Rider. A long time. I think it was about 2001 when I started doing it. But I've always had uh, dirt bikes as well as road bikes. Dirt bikes? So just... What is your first bike? Uh, XR200 Honda. Oh, it's a nice bike. bike. Yeah. It's a legendary yeah. bike. It was, uh, it was 91. So you just got an overnight bag, have you? Why uh, WR250? Uh, it's light. I can pick it up without help. <laughs> um, it's, it's one of the better ones of the 250s for the highway, I think. Definitely. And, yeah. Some modification? Yeah, lots of modification. No engine modifications, <laughs> no suspension modifications. It's all like hand guards and uh. bash plates. Um, Does that mean it's a already a good bike, even without modification? Cut up bucket for a bit of wind protection. Oh, it's a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, GPS, the mirrors, the double take mirrors. Nice. What is your next bike? Oh, he's into hunting or something. Why my next, well, my other bike is the, no your dream bike. Strom. My next bike. No, I'm done <laughs> spending money. At least that's what I thought until I bought the V Strom. So, yeah. Um, yeah. No plans to upgrade at this point. Yeah. I'm, I'm running out of time. I've got to start spending money on other things. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. We've. Um, where are we now? We're pretty close to the campsite now, eh? Oh yeah. We're most yep. of the way along the Lake Coleridge Road to um, the Harper campsite, which I've camped at a few times before. And uh, it's a great spot. How long have you been an adventure rider? Um, for, um, 12, 13 years, I guess. I, 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 spent, um, I spent a year in India on a Royal Enfield. Um, oh, cool, yeah, like a, and then I kind around of the to, world. I learned to... Um, Deal with bad roads and bad traffic and long hours sitting on a um, bike, and then then I moved to New Zealand not too long afterwards, and I've had a I had a higher sung like 250 racing bike, and then and then um, and then I have one of those, the KLR 650, and then an Africa Twin, so all very different bikes. And why Africa Twin? Uh, these days we go on uh, my wife and I go on quite long road trips with big boxes and stuff so I wanted something comfortable with a big engine that's um, reliable and it's kind of yeah when they when they started making them again because they stopped making them since the 90s or something and then they mm. came back 2016 and there was a lot of hype and um, about them being really good off-road because it's basically a big dirt bike in terms of geometry and um, so it's pretty capable off the road but it's pretty comfy for the, the long road trips too so um, yeah what is your next bike? Uh, I'll probably go for a KTM 790 or a, a Yamaha 700, the Tenere. Tenere. Um, Great choice. But I don't know. Yeah, there's a few other... You um, don't think it's a downgrade after Africa? Well, no, not really. I think kind of 700 is my ideal weight for a bike. I think thousands or 1200s are definitely too big. But, um, for, it's, yeah, it depends what type of riding you do at that stage in your life, doesn't it, really? You've got to get what suits your, your life. Hmm. Yeah. Some modification in this Africa Twin? Some modifications? Uh, yeah, I've got the engine guards and the bash plate underneath. Um, I bought a leather tank cover. It looks great. It has a bit of function to it as well. It's got these things that um, you can use a bungee cord, strap jacket mm. on or whatever, and I don't know, feel soft on your, on your knees. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't really modified much else. Um, I've got slightly better tyres than the stock ones. Um, probably get some noblier ones next time. For some oh. More off road stuff. How long have you been an adventure rider? Not very long, it's only maybe six it's months. Difficult. Yeah, so just, oh. just getting into it. <laughs> I've, I've sort of taken it off road a few times now and mm. tried to push myself each ride. Have some yeah. have fun. Why the R250? Um, so because I'm a beginner, I wanted to get something that's quite small and nimble, mm. but also really versatile. So I guess from the research that I did, I found that this one was really good for commuting, um, going on adventure rides or doing proper like dirt bike sort of stuff. So yeah, it just seemed like the perfect fit for what I yeah, needed. It's working for you, yeah. definitely. Some modification? 
Not really, just mainly aesthetic ones like uh, a new seat cover, some new um, handle grips and just a whole bunch of stickers just to oh give yeah them, yeah give it's a uh, give you give a few more. horsepower oh uh, yeah definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what is your dream bike oh that's a very good question now i haven't really thought too much about that maybe like a ducati multi is it multi strata oh. yeah oh, okay it's a it's a good <laughs> dream bike yeah, to be honest i'm pretty happy with what i have yeah. now um, <laughs> And then, yeah, or maybe like a KTM or something, somewhere, somewhere mm. down the line. But for now, I'm pretty happy with what I have. Great. I've honestly never really had a problem with them. I see them as a DR, which is already maybe a little bit overweight, um, but it's got all the comfort features and adventurizing stuff that you've only put on a DR to make it work. You yeah. know, better seat, bigger tank, little windscreen. It's all there already for you. It just looks ugly. <laughs> It doesn't look ugly. I, when I had mine, people said it looks ugly, and I was like, I don't think it does. I don't, it's this mudguard. It's, it's what does it? It's, it's like, what the hell is that mudguard? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, they're just perfectly functional and I mean, that one's bomb-proof. Even... Because nothing goes wrong. It's a funny hair from you with your mudguard. Yeah, no, but it just, it just looks. I don't know. Looks slightly better for some reason. It's just your beak is like just. Who dipped at the front uh, or something <laughs> yeah but yeah um I've, I've ridden with guys with some older ones and i really don't yeah i don't know what the fuss is about to be honest they they seem like a good choice